here. Well, the president's yeah. right. The job situation is ailing, but is more government spending the medicine that will get the country back to work? Let's ask Jerry Mills, who's the CEO of Small Business Specialist B2B CFO, and Carl Schramm, president and CEO of the Kaufman Foundation, who was at the president's job summit last week. Carl, let me bring you in once again. We're starting to see... Uh, the president come up with some ideas. I'm not 100% uh, sure whether he got them from the job summit, but you were there. What do you think of the latest uh, ideas that he has floated today? Well, Liz, some of the ideas came from the job summit, and uh, a couple of them are really great ideas. The notion that we're actually going to give a tax preference for people who invest in small businesses is a great idea. Likewise, <clears throat> when we think about giving essentially a tax holiday to small businesses to induce uh, recruiting and hiring of new employees, those are first-rate ideas. So uh, on that frontier, these, these ideas were floated, and they are very, very pro-entrepreneurial at the summit, um, and uh, that's all to the good. But, Jerry, you know, one thing that small business people understand, you can't spend more than you have. And here's a president who's going and, and just spending even more money, suggesting that there is this, this bunch of cash from TARP left over to spend, when, in fact, that's just a line of credit that hasn't been used. So uh, is, there, is there a conflict that small business uh, don't understand here about what the president is doing? Well, I, th I think I like two of the ideas, but in terms of what the president is doing, he's actually following Keynesian economics. Uh, John Maynard Keynes uh, taught this back in the 1930s, 1940s. It was a bad idea. Now that it's a really spend, bad idea. Essentially, going that you into could spend your way out of the recession or the depression. It, it, does, it doesn't work. It's never worked in the United States for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. So if it's never worked, uh, it isn't going to work now. So I, I apologize. Although he did have two fairly good ideas in his presentation today. Which were your favorites? Well, I li anytime we're reducing capital gains tax, I like that. Uh, he talked about extending credit, so I'm assuming that he's talking about Section 179 depreciation, which I'm a huge proponent of that. The rest of the idea is the $3,000 credit for hiring employees. That's a total bomb. Uh, the issue of uh, SBA loans, total bomb. Uh, the rest of his ideas are not, they're really for Main Street, excuse me, for Wall Street and not Main Street. They're Jerry, not help why, us why do you say SBA loans are a bomb? Well, that helps uh, uh, Wall Street, not Main Street. Today, uh, SBA loans are already guaranteed up to about 90 percent, uh, and that helps the banks, but it doesn't help small business owners like me, my peers, and my clients. Well, if, the, if the president really wants to do something, why doesn't he guarantee the loans for us instead of guaranteeing the loans for Wall Carl. Street? So, no. It's not going to help out. Carl, superimpose this over this, this Moody's mention that at some point down the line, unless we start paying down the deficit and stop spending so much, uh, the U.S. could lose its AAA rating. What would that mean? Again, it's a total hypothetical. Hasn't happened yet, not close to happening, but what would that mean to your small business? Oh, it would be frightening from all kinds of perspectives. If small businesses face a tight credit environment now, and it looks to me like... Um, you know, at the edge, it's entrepreneurs who've had the second thought in all of this policy. Your other guess is absolutely right. So much as this has been focused on large business, we're finally getting to thinking about the entrepreneurs who create all the new jobs. And if uh, the United States were actually to have a downgrading of its credit, that would cause a credit crisis in small businesses. And indeed, it's hard to imagine the credit crisis even being worse, but it would freeze those markets right up. Jerry Mills, uh, finally to you, uh, is should the government be doing more or less? They should be doing more like President Kennedy, President Reagan. Newt Gingrich proposed last week on, on Fox News cutting capital gains totally, reducing payroll taxes by 50 percent, uh, re reducing income taxes. The government can do that. Other than so that, So when you say the government should way. do more, you're talking about it pulling back, not getting more involved. Oh, absolutely. Uh, let, let's follow what President uh, Kennedy did, President Reagan. Those things work. Uh, so, so in terms of uh, uh, reducing barriers to mis businesses, mm -hmm. getting out of our way, we can take care of the rest. We employ three-fourths of the United States. Let us do our thing. Don't be a barrier to us and let us do what we should Carl, do. Carl, would you call the administration a barrier to small business or, or a helping hand? Well, I think uh, the point is that um, entrepreneurs and small businesses uh, are getting table scraps. And if we appreciate the economics of how the world works, it is these firms that create all new jobs. All of our job creation is in firms less than five years old. They should be the first focus of policy. But, but do you think that the administration is doing that? 
Well, I, I think if you read through what, what's come out today, um, there is uh, some attention to this for the first time, and that is to be lauded. There's no mistaking that. At least entrepreneurs are getting some attention now. But really, I think the, the, the main parts of uh, the proposal really relate to the application of a lot of TARP money into the public sector. Carl Schramm, Jerry Mills, good to see you both. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.